Whoever said mountain biking was a simple sport clearly doesn't know what they're talking about. It's definitely not just about jumping on your bike and going for a ride in the woods. Just choosing a bike can be a minefield in itself. So let's have a look at some of the most confusing things about mountain biking. Trail, cross country, enduro or mountain, free ride, downhill, down country marathon, hardtail, hardcore hardtail, there must be more. Who would have thought there'd be so many different types of mountain bike? To be fair, some of these categories sort of mesh together. Fat bike, how could I forget about that one? Blake's favourite. But how do you choose the right bike? All have their benefits and therefore payoffs in terms of handling, weight and other characteristics. But all bikes are good, yeah? You can't go wrong. Tires are complicated. How do you even begin to decide what tires you need? Well, a little bit of research, asking around and trial and error. We've done a video on it too, if that helps. Check it out, top left. But in a nutshell, mountain bike tires are measured in inches, uh, but road bike tires in millimeters, or a jumble of numbers and letters like 700C. Uh, I don't know why. Let's not worry about that. Mountain bike tires are much more simple. Well, width is usually from two to three inches, but there's other things like casing, bead, tread pattern, TPI and compounds. Casings is basically the skeleton onto which the rest of the tire is built. The bead is what goes on the rim. TPI means thread per inch and more is usually better. And compounds refer to the rubber being used and usually in terms of how soft it is. Tires can use anywhere from a single compound up to four and the tread patterns can range dramatically. Okay, you got it? Which ones are faster? Thin hard ones, there's less contact patch. Well, uh, it's not quite that simple. Hard tires deflect off every bump and slow you down. It's not a simple science, that's for sure. Of course, we've got videos to help you out. You didn't doubt us, did you? Doddy even shows you how a tire is built in case you ever wandered or fancy trying to build your own. Good luck. Suspension settings, low speed compression, high speed compression. Literally, there isn't a human alive that knows what they mean. What was that, Doddy? Slow speed compressions happen when you're pressing down on the shock, like when you stand up to pedal, or when you're riding over rock rollers, berms, or dips in the trail. The shock is just absorbing your weight against gravity in a slow, controlled manner. And high speed compression, you say? That happens when you hit a rock, and the shock has to compress quickly to absorb the abrupt impact. Ah. Did you make that up? Sound clever. Are you sure? Okay, I'll take your word for it. But there's more. High speed rebound, volume spacers, bottom out resistance, preload, spring rate, negative air spring. So many factors make up how suspension works. So how do you even begin to figure out how to make it work for you? Suspension has been around for long enough that it's become a bit simpler to get your head around and find some settings that work for the average Joe. Unless you're racing and have the sensitivity of the princess and the pea, you'll only really need to know a couple of things. How to measure sag and how to get your rebound feeling okay. And thankfully, most suspension manufacturers have nice and easy to follow instructions on both of these. Bottom brackets, are you ready? Okay, threaded, press fit, BSA, PF30. 92, BB30, T47, dub. Ah, I bet that's not all of them either, but it shows just how much effort has gone into such a relatively simple part of your bike. They're just a set of bearings after all, but they do play quite a big part. Generally speaking, the PF means press fit, BSA and thread are basically the same, and BB is pretty much another version of press fit. It's completely down to what the manufacturer has decided to build the bike around. Oh, and you have to make sure you have the right axle width. Axles too, yeah, 24mm, 30mm, and the new 28.99. And there's even a secondary 24mm. As ever, when in doubt, ask a bike shop, because they've probably seen them all. Again, headsets are just a set of bearings, but also, again, they come in a few shapes and sizes, like external cups, internal cups, integrated, 44 and 56 millimeters, and don't even get us started on the height and degree of the bearings themselves. It's complicated and confusing, but thankfully it's nothing you have to worry about too often and nothing a local bike shop can't help you out with again when you need it. Also, you can often find out the information on the manufacturer's website so you get the right headset when you need to.
Bleeding brakes. No, that isn't me swearing at my brakes, or maybe it is. It's almost like learning a new language when it comes to look at how to bleed hydraulic disc brakes, i.e. how to flush new oil in and air out. Cables are one thing, but liquid is an entirely different animal. And while it does take a bit of a learning curve to get by, once you have it, bleeding brakes is actually pretty simple. Just do your homework, because while it may not be too difficult, you can easily mess it up and get oil everywhere and onto your brake pads, which makes them much less like brake pads, more like wailing banshees of frictionless doom. And finally, setting up your gears, that dreaded task. It's all about the tension, cable tension. Oh, and limit screws, bead tension, alignment, cable friction and lubrication. Some of those things you only have to do once really, and that's the limit screws and the bead tension on the derailleur, and the initial tension on the cable when you first fit it. What makes a big difference is the final cable tension, as this is what makes the system work smoothly. If you wanna learn this, check out our video on the top left hand side of the screen now, it's actually easy, promise. Do you think there's anything more confusing in mountain biking? Did we miss any key and obvious things? Let us know in the comments down below and make sure to check out our other videos about all the other things we spoke about today and of course GMBN Tech where they go super in depth on some of these things. Mm -hmm.